Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabby and I'm so glad that you're joining me today. And in today's video, I created this makeup look that you see right here. I'm actually getting ready and I'm about to leave for a wedding for one of my good friends. So I just thought I would sit down and turn the camera on and show you the look I came up with for the wedding today. It's very simple um, and just not so over, you know, over exaggerated or anything like that. I just went for a simple, simple eye look and a glossy lip. So um, yeah, that's what this look is today. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look, then definitely keep on watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would I would greatly appreciate it, as well as share this video with your friends. And yeah, also follow all my social media. All that stuff is in the description box below, as well as the list of all the products I use will be down below. So yeah, um, if you want to see how I got this look, then definitely keep on watching. All right, starting off, I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty pro filter soft matte primer and i'm working this into my face as well as into my pores just to make sure i have a smooth canvas to start putting on some foundation as always i'm going in with my maybelline fit me just covering up any acne that i have going on or any dark spots that i need to cover up and then i'm going to blend this out with my real techniques bl bluff bluffing buffing brush Next, I'm going in with my Peach Perfect Soft Matte Foundation from Too Faced. This is in the shade Warm Beige. And I'm just going to dot this on my face. And then I'm going to blend this out with my e.l.f. Blending Foundation Brush. For concealer, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus or Photo Coverage, whichever one. Uh, the concealer in the shade, I believe, Light Medium. And I'm just putting this on my T-zone where I want to highlight and then under my eyes to conceal and highlight there as well. And then to bake under my eyes, I'm using my Cody Airspun Powder. I'm going to bake under my eyes, on my nose, and my chin. Just because I want to make sure that I do not get oily throughout the wedding. Especially when I'm going to be dancing and all of that good stuff. So no oiliness. And then I'm just going in with that same powder and dusting that all over my face to set my foundation. To bronze, I'm taking this bronzer in the Sleek Trio, and I'm going to be using this to bronze my cheekbones and my forehead, and just to make sure that I bring some color back to my face. For blush, I'm going in with my Milani Luminoso blush. I am in love with this blush, of course. And I'm just going to put this on my cheeks to give me some flush of color. For highlighter, I'm going in with my MAC highlighter in the shade Soft and Gentle. This is a very pretty, not too blinding, but very still there blinding. Um, highlighter and it was perfect for this wedding I didn't want to outdo anybody so yeah I'm putting this on And 
And then I'm just taking that same Cody Airspun powder and just going to clean up under where I bronze just to make sure it looks nice and cut. I went ahead and did my brows off camera and now I'm just going to set my eyelids with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm going to rub this in with my fingers and then I'm going to go back in with that Cody Airspun Powder and just set my eyelids into place so that way I can go in with some eyeshadow. For my eyeshadow look today, I'm going to be going in with my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm going in with the shade Pukey and I'm just working this into my crease area and starting to blow this out. I wanted to go for a very subtle look but still very pretty. So I'm going in with this shade first to work into my crease. Next, I'm going in with these two shades here. I don't have my card in front of me, so I can't remember what the names are. Um, but I'm just taking these two colors and working them lower into my crease area. And just to start deepening up the crease and making sure it's all blended out. Next, I'm going in with this pretty, pretty gold shade, and I'm just working this onto my lid with my finger. I find that sometimes using your finger with shimmer shades just helps with the overall application. And yeah, I'm just working this in and then blending out the edges with a blending brush. And then on my lower lash line, I'm just working those same three crease shades onto the lower lash line just to help blend the overall eye look together and make sure that it looks all nice and seamless. And then I'm just putting a shimmer shade into the inner corner. I believe this one is called In Light from the palette, but yeah. <laughs> I had to give my brother a little cameo, but now I'm going in with my mascara. This is the Benefit Roller Lash, and I'm just working this onto my top and bottom lashes before I go in with some falsies. For lashes, I'm going in with the Azerado Cosmetic Lashes in the style Vixen. These lashes are very wispy and very fluttery. They're not too dramatic, so I thought they would be perfect for this event. And yeah, I love these lashes. I also have a coupon code with Azerado Cosmetics. It's just GabbyH10 for 10% off. If you'd like to use it for some lashes, then go for it. So I was having trouble picking a lip shade, so I first started off with this ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Strip. And then I decided that I didn't like the shade with the eye look, so then I'm going in with the Bare Minerals uh, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ohm, I believe. And I added this on top, and then I decided I want a gloss, so I'm going in with my Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer Lip Gloss in the shade 64 Unreal. And then to set my makeup into place, I'm using the Mario Badescu spray. And that completes this look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this look that I did for a wedding. Just a very simple, very pretty look. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one.
Bye, guys.